Welcome back to the Ed Hoddle Show for week number nine as we head into November as the Mustangs come home to take on the Devils of FDU Florham. I'm here with head coach Ed Hoddle. And, Ed, of course, disappointing result of the Eastern game. Uh, look at the stats. Uh, offensively, you did great, but uh, the turnovers at the end, uh, turnovers during the game, talk about the, the Eastern trip. You can't turn the ball over four times. Yeah, it's just that simple. Um, you know, we anticipated, uh, you know, some of the things they were going to do to us offensively. You know, they did a great job. You know, um, wasn't surprised by the level of play, wasn't surprised by the talent, wasn't surprised by their effort. Um, uh, they outplayed us in all three phases. They did a really, really nice job. And, you know, I, I, I told Coach after the game, I, you know, I was, you know, congratulated him. I mm -hmm. know what it's like to, you know, to, you fall into, you know, they've beaten the two teams from um, Lancaster the last two years, and right. they, they've beaten both of them this year. And then to, to finally get over the hump and beat somebody other than the teams you're supposed to beat right. um, is a big deal. You know, I remember for us, I told the guys yesterday, our, ours was Albright back in the day. Right. You know, we had a close overtime loss to them in, in, in the first year, and then another close loss the second year. And the third year, we got them. You know, that was kind of our first win big win so um you know they, they did a great job um you know we've got to do a better job of getting our guys prepared i i need to do that um you know i think there are some things that did ha had i had to do all over again you know i'd rethink mm -hmm. some of the things that we did pre-game um in the week leading up to it but we'll learn from it and we'll get better and move forward and you know too many times in the division three landscape there's that one loss now obviously we have two losses in the mac but if you look at the standings, and again, you can't look ahead to say the what ifs, everything's still in front of you guys. So you going into this week, is that some like the conversation of the guys? Hey, I know we stumble, but we still have everything in front of us. Sure. You know, the, the challenge for us is, is being better than we were the week before, um, you know, and, and, and stacking good performance on good performance. And I think in some respects our team is is veteran and old and experienced and then in others it's very 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 immature you mm -hmm. know with with probably more freshmen playing since that i can remember in the last 10 years um it, but it's not an excuse they yes. still have to go out and perform and it, as as the head coach it's kind of an interesting paradigm of how you prepare the team because it is you know they, they are different um you know but I, again i think the messaging for us is, you know, we've got to be better than we were last week. The challenge, you know, that FDU presents is real. And, um, you know, it's not FDU of 2012 for right. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about to say that. FDU, obviously, last year you went up there. It was a very physical game. You guys pulled it out at the end. What can we expect out of the Devils today? Well, I, you know, if you look statistically and you look at where they are in the conference, um, they're top one or two or three in every offensive category in most defensive categories. Um, you know, they do a really, really nice job with, you know, all three phases of what they're doing. So um, I, I think the one that's not in the top three is, you know, I, I think their punter is like sixth. Okay. You know, ours is fifth and theirs is sixth. So, right. um, you, you know, again, they, they present an interesting set of problems. The quarterback's done a great job. He, he's become far more efficient than he's been in the past. Um, he can hurt you with his legs. They've got their running game going. You know, again, they, they're just super effective offensively and defensively. Um, do enough to cause you some, some problems schematically. And obviously there's two things going on today. First is military appreciation game. I know that uh, Jackson Kelly's mom is going to be part of the coin toss. That'll come up a little bit later. And we've got a lot of um, you know, student athletes that are from military backgrounds. What's it mean to honor the military at a game like this today? I think it's huge. You, you, you know, um, you know, our, our service men and women are, um, you know, always kind of on the forefront of our mind. And, um, you know, it's nice that, um, that we, we've been able to pick a day and honor those folks. And, um, you know, I'm really excited about it, and I, and I hope it's something that we can continue, you know, moving forward because I think it's, I think it's a the right thing to do, um, you know, and and I think it's I think it's a really really cool deal. You know, many of our student athletes and students, for that matter, have you know connections to the United States military, so um, really cool deal for sure. And obviously, it's senior day, and hopefully, this is not the last home game, but it could be the last home game depending on how things shake out. Talk about this senior class and what they've accomplished. Um, you know, they've won a ton of football games. Um, you know, this is the crew that kind of came in, at, uh, you know, at the end of COVID. Um, you know, they didn't get a chance to play a whole lot of high school football. Um, 
you know, it's a, one of our smaller classes, I think, because of that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the commitment to the to the work and things, I think, is, you know, it, it changed them. Um, and these guys, you know, stuck it out for four years, and some of them five, um, with injury, et cetera. But, um, you know, done a ton for the program. All great guys, all going to graduate with their degrees. Um, and that's really what it's all about for us. All right, Coach, good luck today. Thank you very much. All right, it's week number nine. It's Stevenson and FDU Florham next on Go Mustang Sports. Thank you for watching, and go Stangs.